secrets of plants for the benefit of us all. Botany, a blooming history, continues with the power of plants, Tuesday at 9 on BBC4. Hello and welcome to Newsday on the BBC. I'm Rico Hizon in Singapore. And I'm Babita Sharma in London. Here are the headlines. Turkey's Prime Minister wins a third term in office. Now he's promising the country a new constitution. Syrian troops take control of the town at the centre of protests against President Assad's regime. Grounded, thousands of air passengers are stranded as a volcanic ash cloud spreads across the Pacific. Armed police patrol the streets of Bangladesh's capital as a general strike continues. And I'm Karishma Vaswani at the World Economic Forum in Jakarta. One of the big themes this year, as Asia's economies grow, how do you ensure that everyone reaps the benefits of that wealth? It's 8 a.m. here in Singapore. And it's 1 a.m. here in London. This is Newsday, broadcasting to our viewers in the UK and around the world. The man who's dominated the political landscape in Turkey for a decade has won another term of office. Prime Minister Recep Tayyip Erdogan, whose party's roots lie in political Islam, told cheering supporters that he wanted consensus and everyone would feel included. He's promised to work with his rivals on a new constitution, as Jonathan Head now reports from Istanbul. It didn't take long for the count to show what everyone here had expected. Another decisive victory for the governing party. The result is a powerful...